Detroit Hyphen Standard. May I proceed? Yes, you may. Good morning, Ms. Hyde. Good morning. Can you please state your name and spell your last for the record? Gloria Hyde, H Y D. And what, how are you involved in today's case, Ms. Hyde? I'm Avery Bancroft's personal assistant. What responsibilities do you have working for Mr. Bancroft? Well, the most complicated responsibility I have is ordering Mr. Bancroft's favorite perfume, La de Morty. It's only made by a woman in France, who only gets one bottle at a time. And what other responsibi responsibilities do you have working for Mr. Bancroft? Well, I manage his calendar, I serve his meetings, I answer phones. I do other administrative tasks that an assistant would do. But I know Mr. Ban Mr. Bancroft very well. I work with him very closely. He even let me help repair the bid for the second casino proposal. What is, why is this bid so important? Well, the Gambling Commission only issues one, one a decade, and this year the Gambling Commission is being considered for one. And what does it take to win a bid for a casino license in Midlands? It takes two out of three yes votes from a commissioner to win your bid. And who's on this commission? Well, that would be Harper Walton, Riley Geist, and Chase Covington. Who's the head of this commission? That would be Chase Covington. Do you know Chase Covington on a personal level? Um, no, I do not know Chase Covington on a personal level, but he often comes to the casino to gamble. And would you be able to recognize Chase Covington here in court today? Yes, I would. She's right there, black shoe, black shoe. Let the record reflect that the witness has properly identified the defendant. It will be reflected. So, Corey Hyde, when's the first time you came into contact with Chase Covington on a personal level? The first time I came into contact with Ms. Covington on a personal level was the April the 13th meeting between me, Darren Croft, and Mickey Keenan. And what happened at this meeting? Well, it started off as I expected. Bancroft was giving a pitch to what we put together, but Ms. Covington didn't seem that convinced. She made some statements that made it seem like she was there for her own personal reasons. What do you mean by this? Well, halfway through Bancroft's pitch, Ms. Covington went on to say, I like a nice casino as much as anybody, but what do you have for me? Stressing the word me. Did she say anything else that struck you as odd? Well, yes. How? Well, yes. Ms. Covington went on to say that she had another proposal sitting on her desk and that she was going to need a quarter of a million reasons to vote for your proposal. And both of these statements were towards Mr. Bancroft. Did anything else happen at this meeting that struck you as odd? Well, yes. The bellhop came in with refreshments, and Ms. Ms. Covington got angry and said, I thought this meeting was private, and got up to leave. But before she got up to leave, she reached under her desk and pulled out a black briefcase and showed it to Mr. Bancroft and said, I would like a new one of these if you catch my drift. What happened after this meeting took place? I bought the Bancroft, I bought the briefcase that Ms. Covington showed my boss Bancroft. And what did you do with this briefcase? Well, I took it to him as soon as it came in. When's the next time you saw this briefcase? I saw this briefcase again on April the 16th. I saw it in Mr. Bancroft's office. He was putting stacks of bills into it. It at least had to be two hundred thousand dollars. How are you sure? Objection, Your Honor. Lack of personal knowledge. So that way, this witness knows how much money was put in the briefcase. Do you have a response? Your Honor, this witness had it's a rationally based perception. She said that it's about two hundred thousand dollars, and her not or her working with money would give her the personal knowledge to understand how much money was put in. May I respond? Yes, you may. I would also uh, add an objection to lack of foundation. That there's been no testimony to elic elicited by this witness to establish that this witness would know that there was two hundred thousand dollars. There's no reason to believe, just looking at this, that it's two hundred thousand dollars, unless foundation has been laid to establish what she actually saw in the amount of the amount of bills she saw, something along those lines. This testimony is inadmissible. I do agree with Mr. Bills. Um, can you lay that foundation yes. right down the stage? Ms. Bancroft, the briefcase that was sitting. Ms. Hyde, the briefcase that was sitting on 
Mr. Bancroft's desk. How, or what kind of bills was he putting into the suitcase? It was credit card bills. And how many stacks would you say you saw? Um, about nine, ten stacks. It was a lot. Okay. When what happened after this? Well, after I saw him putting the money into the briefcase, we proceeded to go to our meeting in room 312. And what happened at this meeting? Well, at this meeting, Ms. Covington never showed up, so Bancroft took the briefcase and left. Is this the same briefcase that he was putting the money into? Yes, it was. Thank you, Ms. Hyatt. No further questions.